Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the lower part there is a horizontal line. Yeah, yeah, I see that one, yeah. Yeah, that trail is going behind the mountain to the other side, in the next part. That is also in the trail. Yeah, that oh, is part of that. the head, the hair. Yeah. The nice, nice shape of the nose, and the leaves, and the chain and the boobies yeah. sliding down there. Can you see? <coughs> Many of the Inca sites, they don't have the original name, guys. Yeah, we have the Inca trail coming from the dead woman has after all the way that we came down. And those, that camping area, which looks like terraces, like farming terraces, those terraces also is not original. This was a special place called Tambo. What? Tambo was a sacred place. He named this as a room curahai because the shape of the building for those in the pilgrimage especially as a checkpoint and a messenger's house mm. but the messengers they didn't run just one from the beginning till Machu Picchu no messenger's house exists every four five six kilometers far depends how difficult was the trail all this roof all this area was a ceremonial place where those people were going to Machu Picchu and they were taking a course like you guys and according that they were going little by little they were leaving offerings they were making ceremonies here Good day guys, this is day three and we are almost at 4,000 uh, 4, feet. 3,999. Actually no, not feet, meters high. This is 360 degree video. What was in Inca's time this place? Again multifunctional, but we can say mostly this place was like living lodge and religious place. How many percent original is this place, this building? 75% original. Water for them was like another deity. They really respect the water. They took shower as well, but in order to clean their soul, their spirit. That was the most important in Inca time. Three water fountains. At the next Inca site, after lunch, by the third pass, we're gonna find that there, six water fountains. What about tomorrow in Machu Picchu? 16 water fountains. That's very important for them. If you are talking about this famous Inca trail, and remember the correct or the real name was like Kapagnang, which is means the knowledge path. So according to their belief, the gold was their God's blood. They just used for decoration. Imagine all these buildings decorated with gold. Wow. Inside the buildings, niches in the same level. Especially they say this, this kind of niches keeps the vibration, so helps as well when the earthquake happens. The Incas were not very tall. If they mummify in feral position, look this niche. I think I'm a little bit taller than my ancestors. If they mummify in feral position, this was perfect to put a mummy. In June 21st, they transport the mummies and they put it there and then they were honoring. Why they honoring the mummies? Because they really respect their dead persons. They didn't mummify all the persons who passed the life. To mummify in Indian times was a privilege. Find that some evidences to say was not finished yet in 1532. But 
didn't finish yet. What about here? More clear. Small hole, not enough yet probably. And same again here. And this is for the roof. Right? Like this. And, they and remember the first day I got the plant for um, tequila beverage? They used that plant fever as well. The small building you saw already down there, that was like another extra checkpoint. The Incas had worse enemies at that time. Chancas culture from the north and Antis culture from the jungle. That is why they needed to build like extra checkpoints, extra controls everywhere. Я не хочу, щоб він цей хвостик загубив. Ти фоткаєш, так? Відео. Ух ти, блін! Я ось зараз стібусь по поводу, предоставляю нам сервіси. Але ми ще піднялись на Resting Point і нам наряді холодного лимонадіку. От за це можна платити 500 баксів. Блін, ну, мухи. Ми 500 не платили. Поменьше. Раз уж надо. Ух, можно там поставить. Ну это не. He's taking pictures of uh Или что это? Он еще один не хотел, я хотел Они по спортам фоткаются, это мы тоже так будем. О, а вот там руины, вот. Я уже давно побачил, слухаю. Вася, а. Что, туда может? Я тоже думал, что туда. Может, это будет видно на эту, как эту гору? Okay, we decided that we want to go 
to the highest point. And Dima says... They we're gonna pass out. <laughs> Dima, that we're gonna pass out. And we're not gonna make it to the final uh, stop. So, I'll go pass out. Put him not screen, you pass out. Так, блядь, быстрее давай! Чекай! Сюда або туда? Давай, ставь, ставь, ставь! at 3.8 kilometers is not recommended whatsoever. А тут уже не побежишь. Ох, пиздец. На, тормай. We are on top. In almost four minutes. Holy crap. What time Dima? On Dima. On Dima. Как ощущение? Ощущение сюда. Сейчас упасть бы. Я пьяный. Дай воздух. Молодцы. Теперь еще три часа тащить рюкзаки. Tomorrow we are gonna walk around this this mountain, and we're gonna come up over there. Uh, no, just in the middle. In Cassini, yeah? the first view of Machu Picchu. Well, this one is on the, the rangers, they close this trail. But now is from there is all. Machu Picchu belongs to still PR6, right? Third time! <laughs> very, very happy. <laughs> About this place, as well, this place was found by Hannah in the year 1915. But he took another way. You will see from the other side there is another way. So, if you see this place, it's a very important place because after you can see the fine stone work. We have two kinds of uh, works one of them is rustic stone, matter stone, another one is the fine stone work. Like that, only in important places like here. And down there, you can see Machu Picchu. That's the first sight so of Machu Picchu. Over there is not that yeah. much? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Down, down there is clear. Uh -huh. yeah. I just wonder if that was like a picture. So actually, we had a bit of fun Machu Picchu. Connecting to this trail and here, to Puyu Patamarca. Uh -huh. Actually, Hiram Bingham didn't know about this trail. And this, yes, going down. Beside to our campsite, <coughs> there is another Inca site, Winyaguayna. As well, he didn't know about this place. Because... Was it all covered, right? Covered by vegetation. Like, we can see, this is the beginning of the jungle. But when people went from Cusco to Machu Picchu, there were thousands or thousands, two hundred people. It's for the reason, they were along the Urbamba Valley farming terraces. The farming terraces, in Kipata. Only for farming, eh? And also the farmers' houses. Okay? Фонарь доставай,
it's local. Uh, we just got to the, um, the campsite. This is the uh, end of day three. We went the longest day. We left at 7.30 in the morning and it is now 5 o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> 5 o'clock. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how many kilometers we did. No? But we definitely went down from um, 3,800 probably to 2.6 I'm thinking. No. But Dima is now with us. Dima is now with us? Still there. Still there. Up there, right behind us. He'll be coming back when it's done. That is the Machu Picchu. We'll be going there tomorrow. That's the uh, Machu Picchu mountain. Machu Picchu mountain. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Сегодняшний день я скажу нам. Что у нас сегодня было? Стали в семь, шагали, шагали, шагали. Сейчас уже пять вечера. Десять часов шагали. Из них, наверное, часа два, два с половиной отдыхали. И вот приперлись. Вот она Мача Пича, чтобы ее не ладно. Завтра через перевал и все, и будем на месте. А сколько мы сегодня прошли? Не знаю, километров не знаю. А с высоты до какой высоты тоже не знаешь? На трех шестьсот начали, вру. Восемьсот, на нет? На трех двести начали, три девятьсот поднялись, три спустились, три восемьсот поднялись, три спустились, и три перевала было где-то по триста Длинный день, очень длинный день.